Hi Amber, nice to see you here. Yeah. Uh, your song is called Warrior. It's not the only Warrior song this year. When you heard this, what was your first reaction? Um, I believe that it never happened in, in 60 years, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, I took it very lightly. I think the only um, similar thing between my warrior and the Georgian warrior is the title of the song. Um, the styles are totally different, the concept is totally different. Um, my song spe speaks about releasing your inner warrior yeah. and defeating the problem. And I do believe that there are 40 warriors in all in the competition, all competing for the same battle, mm -hmm. for the same title. Yeah. Malta is such a small country from the size, but with a big heart and big passion for Eurovision. Uh, how does it come? How, why is it so popular? Eurovision is very popular in Malta. 97% of the population practically watches Eurovision. So it's a very good exposure for us singer. All the Maltese follow Eurovision and we love it. It's in our heart. Even, for example, last year I used to watch it. I am a big Eurovision fan. I watch it every single year with my family, with my friends. It's something we look forward to every single year. But it's not your first Eurovision experience, honestly. You have been in Baku, in Azerbaijan, and uh, accompanied Kurt Kayea uh, on stage. Yes, exactly. Back How in, was this? Back in 2012, it was a wonderful experience, which I believe I have matured as an artist through this experience. Obviously, the whole concept of the song was totally different. We were six on stage, and now I am alone. And I was a backing vocalist, and now I'm the main vocalist. And I'm very excited and looking forward to it. Uh, can you take any experience from this? Uh, would it help for you now? Yes, um, I, I believe that it helped me a lot. I know what to expect now in the competition. I know the whole procedure of it all. And as I said before, the only difference is that now I'm, I am the main vocalist. I've heard you had an accident because you were uh, you practiced judo and uh, since then you started your singing career. Can you explain a little bit of this? Um, unfortunately, um, it wasn't because of the sport that I had the injury, the accident. It was because I did not eat two days before, which is very bad, I must say, yes. And I had six spasms back in my back, which were going to leave me paralyzed. And when I was at school, when I was a little girl, they used to tell me, listen, why don't you go try singing, try, because you have a beautiful voice, but I never gave it priority. And when I was 17 years old, I wanted something which gives me the same satisfaction as judo did, because when I re removed the competition aspect of from judo, there was no satisfaction in it. And I said, why don't I try singing? I take my first lesson and I simply fell in love with music. <laughs> Do you think it's a big pressure to represent a whole country? I think rather than a pressure, it's a big responsibility. I am here not just Amber, I am here as Malta. Malta and Goza re representing my country. Um, there's a big responsibility in making Malta look beautiful and showing everyone how talented Malta is, even though it's very small, and, but we can still compete with the big countries. Malta always wanted to win the Eurovision uh, and they want to have it on the islands. You all, Malta has already hosted the Junior Eurovision Song Contest uh, late last year. Um, would this be an open air party, what they say? Uh, unfortunately, that's not in my hands. It's no. something which the delegation and the government has to discuss. But yes, why not? We have beautiful weather in Malta. It's very sunny at the moment. And I think it would be perfect in May. Outdoors, yes. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Do you have any special Eurovision memories? You said you, you are a fan of the Eurovision Song Contest. Do you have any particular song? It must not be Maltese particular? Um, one of my favorite, all-time favorite songs um, has to be Euphoria. Mm as a part of the fact that it reminds me of when I was back in Baku in 2012. Um, I believe that uh, Lorene is a, an amazing artist. She's an all-rounder. She gets to transmit to the people and let them know what she is saying rather than just saying she's a whole performer. Yeah. And I do like um, Helena Paparizu's song, number one. I remember I was a little kid when, yeah. when she won. And Malta came second that year too. Yeah, many thanks, Amber from Malta. We hope uh, that you will make it into the final, and uh, yeah, maybe we see a little surprise having two warriors uh, at the grand final. Yes, let's it hope. Would be funny, yeah. Yes, it would be a first time in Eurovision. <laughs> Have you met Nina so far? No, not yet, because ah. since we're not in the same semi-final, yeah. but I'm looking forward to meet her. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And no, no fight there, uh, because no, even no. if you have warriors or something. We are here to compete, we are here to have fun. Um, let us all enjoy it together, it's irrespective of whether the song is the same or not. Let's enjoy it to the full and let everyone know um, that we are here to have fun and relate to the people with our songs. Thank you, Amber. Thank you very much, thank you. Hello, I am Amber from Malta and I will be representing my country with the song Warrior. I will be competing in the second semi-final and I want to send big hugs and big kisses to all the fans at EurovisionLive.com.